I used to cut my hair short and wear suits or jackets all the time. So now, it's like I hate those things. I hate suits, because uh, when I was clean and wearing suits, people would treat me bad all the time. <laughs> now, now I'm a bum, I get good treatment from people. I used to stand on my leg from six in the morning to midnight, because yeah, I used to work like 16, 18 hours a day. I was in a bank. I was photocopying all the money. <laughs> so, so that was a lot of work that time. I was faster than the machine. You know, for me, the only thing I wanted was a job so I could put food on the table. That was it. That was my desire. I never went on beyond food on the table. I had a job when I was in junior high school. I worked in a warehouse. My mother harassing me about getting work, you know. She said, you not working is my problem. I'm like, no, no, it's not. She didn't care about me getting a job. The thing is, you get job, I get money. I didn't want no job when I was young. I wanted education. I used to buy a lot of books, a lot of big, expensive books. What I did with the money I had from my jobs, I used to buy specialized books. That's how I used to get my pleasure. That was like my only pleasure. I didn't go to the movies. I didn't go to clubs or hang out. I used, just used to go to the library. I used to read uh, almost all the books in different areas. I enjoyed it immensely, you know. And I was only two or three months away from acquisition of a photographic memory uh, when I got uh, assaulted by the friendly police in the neighborhood. And, that brought my photographic memory to an end. <laughs> Before I could read a book in like one hour, I could read a whole book or half an hour. Uh, now, I can't do that. I, you know, it will take me a week to read a book now, like, like average people. <laughs> that kind of led me to become homeless because it, 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 it altered my life. Well, I stopped going to the library because I couldn't read anymore. Well, my mother never liked me, so she called the police. So the police said, well, if your mother don't like you, then you're no good, so we beat you. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. After the beatdown, I didn't sleep at all for six months. <laughs> I was conscious all the time. It's not a good way to be, <laughs> trust me. Two metal pipes. <laughs> see, look. That's from the beating. See how that hand moves? After the beating, my whole body was moving like that. I was totally weak on, on one side. When I first became homeless, you know, people came over to help me, and that was surprising that people wanted to offer me help. But I used to turn it down. Must have been the second or third day of my homelessness. Uh, I turned this guy down. He had offered me $3, and he started to cry. <laughs> so after that, I started taking whatever people offered me. That is sort of like, you know, saved me being homeless. Oh, thank you so much. And that enabled me to survive out here. Oh, pastries. It's like that gourmet pastry stuff. The ones that be in the, uh, the hotels and the restaurants. Yeah, they use the mini ones for the hotels and the restaurants. 